Those positions can be ones that begin to engage your inner thigh or adductors while you're maintaining abdominal control. I like to start off at a counter, going through a little isometric series, and this will progress to more of a movement-related exercise, if this feels okay. So first thing you want to look at is that as I press down into this counter, it's going to help me to flatten my lower back and engage my stomach. That's the first piece. I don't want to let my lower back drop into this arch position. So as I'm here at the counter, pressing down into my hands, it helps me create some tension in my stomach, sucking my hips underneath me. And then I'm just going to lightly press the inside of my feet towards each other. I want to press through the whole inside of my foot from my big toe all the way to my heel. So it's a pressure down into the palms, sucking my hips under me, and then lightly pulling my feet towards each other with the friction of the floor stopping them from moving. Holding each one for about five seconds, doing this about 10 to 15, even upwards of 20 times. If that feels okay, I would progress by going deeper into the range, so going into more of a stretch on that muscle. Now usually what I have people do is start off at a short range because you'll be surprised at how much this can make you sore in using these muscle groups that you don't typically use on a regular basis. So I would start off in a range that's pretty comfortable. The next time I go to this, I can always come to more of a stretch position, which will probably accomplish more, but also have a little bit more threat of making me sore if I have a problem in this area. So ideally you go as wide as you can, right? Creating that stomach tension first and pulling inward. And then as this feels okay, this will then progress to a more challenging movement where we'll actually add some motion to the foot while you're creating the same tension in the same areas.